Hello everyone! You might remember that last year I designed a team of magical guardians based on astrology and knights. I really liked the star knights. They even upgraded from being side characters to the main characters of my magical girl story, Dreamy Stardust, name still in the works. Despite having very defined magical girl designs, I never really designed their civilian designs. So that's what we're going to do today. Also, if my voice sounds kind of weird, that's because I'm kind of sick. So I'm sorry for that. And without further ado, let's get to it. First of all, let's start with Lily, our moon-based character. If you don't remember, Lily is our optimistic and energetic main character that loves cooking and helping others. She is very sensitive and empathetic, often acting out of intuition and instincts more than pure rationality. Despite being beloved by her team, Lily has a number of insecurities that affect her self-esteem, namely the fact that she's a late bloomer. The youngest of the team, the shortest, the most naive and the one with the least magic, even in her transformed version. This makes her question her place in the team, as she is often isn't of much help in battle and she ends up overcompensating by trying to be the most helpful she can be during the day to day. Often putting herself second to everyone, cooking most if not all meals and making treats for others, especially if, for some reason, they are feeling down. She also takes care to memorize everyone's favorite foods and she puts all her love in her cooking and baking in hopes that this effort will make the other members of the team shine even brighter in battle, even if she doesn't end up shining at all. So when I was designing her civilian design, I wanted to show very clearly her sweet and optimistic personality while still giving her a getup that would be practical. She uses a lot of hair decorations like stars and bows, she wears her hair in a ponytail to keep her hair from getting in the way of her tasks, she also uses an oversized sweater to keep herself warm and comfortable, but also I like to imagine that she purposefully chose a sweater a size or two too big in hopes that someday she would grow into it. She also wears practical overalls with really cute big bows, I decided that the team should also be cohesive even in their civilian designs so all the members of this team wear bows somewhere in their outfits despite everyone having very clearly different aesthetics. To top off Lily's cute aesthetic yet practical outfits, she wears lilac Mary Janes and white leg warmers. Next up I'll be working on Mari's design. Mari is the leader of the Star Knights and she is based on the sun, and like the sun, she is the one that shines the brightest. Out of everyone in our team, Mari is the most powerful one, especially when it comes to magical ability. She can create bursts of energy, bright lights that are able to stun enemies, and she also has very powerful healing magic. So much so that she often volunteers in hospitals to help heal up even the ones with the most persistent illnesses and curses. Since Mari and Lily are sisters, the gap between their abilities are even more obvious, and the two are constantly compared to one another. Lily doesn't mind since she looks up to her sister so much, but Mari doesn't like it one bit that people underestimate her little sister, and she can be very protective over her. Like her sister, she's also very sweet, but unlike her sister, sometimes she finds it hard to befriend people, since others seem to put up a wall in between them and Mari. Sometimes she feels lonely because of it. She also tries to help her sister in the kitchen, but she's pretty bad at it, often causing more trouble than she ends up helping. Still, Lily is very patient and never refuses her sister's help since it means they get to spend more time together. The most interesting part of her character is that she has pretty severe imposter syndrome and because of that she doesn't believe she is worthy of anyone's admiration. Her status as a princess and next in line to the throne probably doesn't help with it. So when I was designing her civilian design, I let her keep her tiara similar to the one Lily uses in her transformed version to show her status. Her hair is tied up in two long braids decorated with big mint bows. Theoretically in her transformation, her braids would roll up into her transformed version buns and her tiara would morph into her transformed version crown. I also wanted to dress her up in a proper and classy way, so I took a lot of inspiration from Light Academia outfits. I gave her a blouse with knitted brown vest and a big yellow bow on her chest paired up with a yellow pencil skirt, short frilly white socks and dress shoes. 
Next up, we have Crispin. Crispin was the third member to join the Star Knights. He is a very stoic and closed off person. He often tries to avoid social gatherings, places with too many people or too noisy, and just social situations in general. Even with his team, he is rather reserved, spending most of his time closed in his own room. Perhaps there is a certain level of social anxiety there. Uh, what I know is that he is making progress now that he met Lily, who is very enthusiastic about spending time with him and dragging him and everyone else into little team outings. Jasper also tries to drag him into the gym to work out together. He is not always successful, but when they do hang out, they have a really nice time. Regardless, Crispin prefers to spend most of his time reading or taking walks around the town after dark. He also comes from a family known for their guardians. His father back in the day was also part of the main magical guardian team, and so he expects a lot from Crispin, often coldly and harshly training him. Crispin doesn't really feel much pressure because he honestly kind of wants his dad to let him be. They really don't get along. The person that Crispin cares for the most is his little sister, who unfortunately is very sick and in fact lives, I think it's called an hospice, something of that sort. They haven't lived together in a while, but still, Crispin still finds the time to visit her at least once a week and even bring her out to go to her favorite cafe or park or whatever the little girl wants to do that day. When designing a civilian design, I give him a more plain outfit. He's not very flashy, he doesn't want to attract unnecessary attention, and he definitely doesn't want people to recognize him, so a shirt and denim pants with dress shoes is as good as of, a, of an outfit as any. Also, he uses this little pearl bracelet at all times, because it was a gift from his little sister, made by her, and he promised he would never take it off. Next up, Iris. Iris came into the team at the same time as Lily and she has been friends with her for a very long time. They met back in middle school, they were both kinda odd in their own little way, and because of that the other kids didn't like them all that much. They teamed up and they have been friends ever since. Iris is... well, Iris is pretty much a shut-in. Not in the sense that she hates the outside world or hates going outside, but in the sense that she is so focused on her own interests and projects that she wants to spend all her time doing it. So she rarely sleeps, she procrastinates on her schoolwork, she loves video games, energetic drinks and robotics. Right now she is in the process of streamlining the production of prosthetics as well as working on methods of leveling up magical weapons. So theoretically, Iris eventually would be able to turn her teammates' weaponry stronger. Or she could even work as a power-up during fights, which I think is pretty neat. She also gets along pretty well with Crispin. Crispin, Lily and Iris often have game nights where they play video games together. Mari's relationship with Iris is kinda weird, because Iris prefers to have that wall in between them, but she still respects her. When designing her civilian design, I took care to give her an outfit that was comfortable enough to the point that she could sleep in it, but still presentable enough to go outside with. She kept her goggles, to me that is the one thing about her design that I will never change. She has to have her goggles, she wears a sweatshirt with the sleeves rolled up all the way up, so they wouldn't get caught up in her prosthetics mechanisms, sweatpants and easy slip-on shoes so she can take them out and put them back in pretty quickly. And finally, Jasper. Jasper is the big guy with the golden heart of the group. He is one of the original members of the team and he loves to look out for all the other members of the team. He comes from a really big family, he is the oldest grandson, he is used to taking care of others. Jasper loves going to the gym, he loves playing sports, especially team sports. He tries his best to invite the others to work out with him, especially Crispin since they are the only two guys on the team. Jasper doesn't look to be all that smart, but he is actually pretty smart and is also really good at school. Since he was a kid, his family has instilled in him the idea that he should give his best in school and learn the most he could, so he could have a better life than the one they could provide him. Lily is like his little sister, 
Uh, in fact, she reminds him of his younger siblings and cousins, and they often cause a bit of mischief here and there, especially if Lily's brother joins them. He respects Mari, he is probably the only one that doesn't really idolize her, so she feels really safe confiding in him. Is and Iris' personality clash quite a bit? You would think they hate each other, but honestly they love bickering with each other. His civilian design was super easy. This guy loves sports, he loves to be active. This is the type of guy that you would never see dressed in a normal outfit. Jasper is always ready to train. White t-shirt, colorful sports jacket, sweatpants decked out in pockets, running shoes and protective gloves. With this, we get to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also, if you want to see more stuff from me, I'm also on Instagram and Twitter, at mamapurin_chan. underscore Chan. Thank you so much, and until next time, bye!